Hello, I'm Michal Kelly, a dry stock advisor with Chagas in Athenry. Today I'm here on the farm of Angus Fahey in Tulare Ardrahan. Angus is our new future beef farmer for County Galway. Uh, Angus, how are you fixed for grass? Uh, grass, uh, Michal, is a bit tight at the moment. Uh, for the last week or two, uh, with growth rates uh, slow at the moment, around 20. And um, my covers has dropped a small bit and um, I'm just supplementing silage as well Michal so so what would be your what's your average cover at the minute uh, it's just around 470 Michal at the moment which is a bit low but uh, I was just grazing out of place there I've bottomed to this field here Michal where I've uh, cover here at the moment and I'll hold them here now for the next probably the next week I'd say with silage as well and a bit of grass here as well why did you select this paddock for supplementing? Uh, there's a few reasons now, Michal. I First of all, uh, the weather is bad at the, north at the moment and uh, there's plenty of shelter there with the wood as well. Uh, there's another place here. It's um, There's a lot of docks there at the moment and uh, I'll probably re uh, put clover in here later on, Michal, uh, later on the season. Probably I'll wait, I'll graze off this, wait for the docks to come back up and spray spray them and uh, we'll, we'll stitch in clover then in this paddock. So How did you get on with it? You did a bit of overseeding last year. I did Michal. Um, it came well uh, this year. It didn't just come as good. Uh, it's starting to come there now at the moment. You can see all the leaves coming up. It didn't come that quick last year I thought. Um, maybe I did a bit late and it just didn't take in as early yeah. as good as I thought myself. So it'll probably it'll take off the soil temperatures coming up now and we're coming closer to summer, so hopefully things will kick off. Yeah, I'll be hoping. Uh, I have another field down here that uh, I um, I put a good mixture of clover with it there about three years ago when I was receding, and that's a mighty field, and it doesn't need that much nitrogen, so I'll be hoping going forward that will uh, cut down my nitrogen as well. Perfect, and just today we will say... How much fertiliser have you out, or you're using the trail and shoe for your slurry? Uh, yeah, we put out uh, two applications of slurry. Uh, we put it out on the first week in March, and we put it out two weeks ago as well. Uh, just into the, the tanks. Um, we put 2,500 gallons to the acre. Uh, and them fields as well. Uh, you have probably, I think you said earlier, about 80% of your grazing ground has got slurry at yeah, this stage. Yeah, 80% got it there altogether, say, so far. And just given the year that we have the high fertilizer prices, you're just using pr your slurry, we'll say, as for your P and K source and protected urea. Yeah, and protected urea. I have another small bit, I'm finishing bulls at the moment, Michal, and I have a small tank there as well, and that would probably cover my other my other uh, other 20% the other 20% and if there's bales or anything taken off probably in the first round I'll probably put it out after I cut my first round of bales probably you know paddocks like that as well but when did you put out your first fertilizer uh, we put it out uh, the 6th of March we did we put out 30 units of of your of protected urea out on a kind of a, a blanket spread really. Perfect. Yeah. And you're following them in the paddocks now as the grays? I'm putting follow them as the grays as well, yeah. Our covers in general on the farm are low at the minute, but we have a growth rate. It's probably average for around here or in and around the twenty five. Yeah, twenty five it is me all around here at the moment. It was twenty say last week and it's picking up that small bit more but with predicted growth rate probably 35, 40 now in the coming weeks. You should. Yeah, it will really pick up. And what would be your highest cover at the moment? Uh, my highest cover is 11.20, I think it was over there, and that's beside the shade. Now, I, I won't um, put cattle into it because I really need it for my, my breeding season. Uh, like I won't let them in for till Saturday week, okay. at least. So I suppose by holding them here, seeing as it's a paddock you're taking out anyway, um, it's an option to build up a bank of, a bank of grass ahead of them. Yeah, a bank of grass, and like I, I there will always be a burst of growth, and and uh, I'm just looking towards that. Like I have a bit of silage there, I'll keep them ticking over. Like three or four bales of silage will 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 tie me will over. Get you back yeah, track. get my back and track. And ju just on this farm here. Um, I suppose it's unusual you don't dedicate silage ground, you don't have dedicated silage ground for closing. Uh, no, Michal, uh, we cut everything kind of once here. Uh, but anything that kind of goes over the 15, 1600, and uh, when the silage man is coming, 
I really focus on and I might could keep cutting out while he's there as well and it keeps brilliant quality in front of them as well. And last year we cut everything here. Uh, you cut do, every yeah, paddock got cut at least every, once. Yeah, at least once and we got enough bales and we've plenty of bales left over this year as well. We we have enough we're probably eight or ninety bales left over this year as well. Not a bad complaint. No, not a com- complaint at all, no. Thank <laughs> you.